Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Joe is continuing his portal adventure in Super Meat Boy. And I'm hanging out and watching and slowly losing my mind. Why are you losing <laughs> your mind, Nick? I just can't take it anymore. There's so much death and blood. <laughs> it's not blood, it's meat. And, and re repetition. Actually. That's the other thing we're getting a lot of. So much repetition. Although, so, so I, I do want to mention, actually, the thing that is also keeping me still invested in the game, you mentioned it last time, the changing mechanics, as I stand there and die. <laughs> Why would you stand there? Well, uh, I, I, ha I, have to, I have to articulate my thought, Nick. Anyways, you you so you, you mentioned, you know, this is a late time for another mechanic to jump in, and it, mm -hmm. it's great. Like, there's constantly shifting. Yeah. Uh, and so, as a, from a player's standpoint, you're, you're entertained and you're constantly engaged. Constantly engaged. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it seems like a great game, totally. It's just not a game for me. Um, much like Injustice was not the game for you, you know, you were mentioning that there's, there's things... You can never account for taste, right? Like, yeah. it's just always one of those things, so... It is pretty, pretty brutal to watch. Um, and, and satisfying, I think, too, though, like, when you get through a level, it does feel... <laughs> but then you do that! Then <laughs> you just drop straight down into lava. Part of, I guess, the, the repetition is get, thinking you've gotten used to the things you're doing, yeah. and then you're like, oh, this is, you know, I, you don't think about the little things, and like, what? 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 Okay, so that was BS. <laughs> you shouldn't have died there. <laughs> Just, uh, you touched that corner in the wrong way. That corner was extra sharp. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Is that, like, a Yoshi sound? Uh, I didn't hear it. I'm sure we'll hear it again in a minute. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Are you thinking like a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yoshi sounds are weird. <laughs> like, who picked those sounds for Super Mario? I don't know. What a genius, right? Also, do you think it was intentional that SMB oh, could be Super Mario Brothers or Super Meat Boy? Oh. Do you think he maybe. was going for that when he made this game? Uh, Super Meat Boy is a great name for a game in general. Yeah. Oh, sh... <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched uh, Indie Game the Movie? I don't think so. Oh, it's on um, Steam and Netflix, actually. Um, really good stuff, and the guy who created these games is on there. Um, oh, that's a good sound. That was just the... Oh, the portals. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like it. Yeah. Um, the portal sound may be louder when you actually watch the episode. We have to watch the... Uh, we have to play these with the sound down real low so it doesn't double on the uh, recording. Otherwise, it sounds gnarly. So, we play it very quiet and have to listen very intensely to know what we're actually hearing. <laughs> but yeah, it is it's very much like the, the Yoshi sound. Kind of a, a, a wispy whoosh. <laughs> wispy whoosh. <laughs> it's getting late, and I'm getting kind of kind of uh, punchy a little bit, I think would be the term. Punchy? <laughs> punchy, yeah. That, I don't, what does that mean? What, it, means, that? it means I'm starting to get a little bit like... Uh, jumping to two ideas and finding those ideas funny, maybe like I'm, I'm kind of like I, I'm having a hard time holding on to a single thought and instead jumping to a thought, and that that kind of fast thought process makes you a little bit delirious. Yeah, you sound delirious. delirious right now. Delirious is the word. So. That's that's where I'm going. I'm right having a really hard time with this jump right here. I don't know what to you do. You sure are. You haven't been past it once yet, have you? I guess no. you've, you've stained the other side a little bit. I think I jumped clear over and fell into the lava. Yeah. Uh, I just don't really know. God, and then there's a portal way out there too. That was a terrible time. To jump. Once you get there, oh god, now I'm yawning. Ugh. You are you are high energy. You should have had a mega monster like I did. Jeez. Quit branding them. I'm not, I'm not trying to. It's just. Yeah. It, Monster's not going to give you a brand deal, no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Maybe Lady Gaga will, then. Oh, yeah? <sighs> I, do you think Lady Gaga is a brand? I, I mean, I kind well, of agree. Well, yeah, she calls her things monsters, or their things. Oh. <laughs> her fans. Oh, boy. That's what our fans will be called, our things. <laughs> you're all our things, if you're listening to this. Uh, no. Well, we, we had an interesting we... conversation, actually, about this. I think it'll be fun. We, we talked about how our business as YouTubers, I mean, not that we're, like... High caliber yeah. professionals, right? It's not a business for us, it's just a hobby, really. But, but yeah. Our commodity is people, in a way. Well, that's what the YouTube business, is. the YouTube business, the actual business is, right? Like, commodity, 
it, it, it's it's the the people economy now um, is a, a popular term for it. What we make is this content where we're giving commentary, but what YouTube makes is viewers. YouTube makes people who watch and sells them to advertisers. It's not that the ads are being sold. It's not the products that are being sold. It's not the episodes. It's the people who are the product given to the advertisers. And that's a totally, like... I mean, it's not totally different. Television and radio have been doing it also for years. Sure. But I feel like YouTube has cornered it in a very obviously different way because you've given all the creation over. Like, at least with television, ads were designed to pay for television, right? Like, let's put, let's sell ads to pay for the content we're making. Mm. With YouTube, it's make the content first, and if you're good enough, maybe you'll make some money on the ads. You know? And, and good enough is also a very loaded term because it's not actually about being good enough it's all about <laughs> you see because you can be this terrible and still have a youtube show um it's all about getting noticed and you really have to sort of whore yourself out there and uh and and we've been doing a lot of you know self-promotion kind of stuff and oh <laughs> this is um, a really fun level sorry i'm super zoned into the game we try not to, well I, I think i could talk on this topic for a bit. Sure. We try not to be too self-promoting. We try to, like, be a community, you know? Because that's what we really want to do. Like, for us, this is a cool thing for Joe and I to get to know each other better after many years as brothers of not talking as much just because life got in the way. And it's a cool way to share our stories with the world because I think we have some fun stories. Sometimes they drone on a little long and maybe aren't as interesting as I'd hope, but... I think we have some fun stories. I hope people agree. Um, and then there is the the far back of our mind underlying dream of, hey, maybe we make some money on this someday. But that's not the primary motivation. Um, and that's a very different life for content creators. Yeah. Like, the idea that your content is not the thing that is going to... If you make a TV show... Unless you're non-profit, public access, something like that. You're making a TV show because you have a creative vision and a desire for money, I would say. I got you have to. You have to have a high enough desire for money to get it out there, because it's so much work to get on TV. But if you're making a YouTube show, it's so easy to get out there and so difficult to make any money. Alright, well. Oh, that's not an episode. I'm like two minutes early. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna get ready to call us on that. Um, jeez. Oh wow. Oh, oh god. <laughs> thought you, I thought you had it in one go. That would have been an amazing episode. Uh, uh, not episode start, but level start. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh man. Oh man. Can you make it out of there now? <laughs> oh, you you psyched yourself out. Yeah, you had tricky. it. That was this is I like this ep this level. I keep calling it an episode. <laughs> hey, you did it too. On no, the last I never, recording I never session. Make mistakes. Yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a wizard arrives precisely when he means to, and drops into lava precisely when he means to. Well, you gotta have dramatic effects. Yeah. Um. I never make mistakes. <laughs> Dang, man, you actually handled that one. Handled that one pretty well. I'm, I'm impressed. You still have a minute and 18 seconds to beat another level. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Uh, uh, we got a laser eye on you. Oh, uh, it's got a crumbling wall. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh oh, but key and then drop. Why didn't you drop down? Uh, I meant kind of to. Yeah. And then can't you just climb back up through there, like? Oh, you need the other key. <laughs> <laughs> ah, tiny walls. Man. Or tiny, tiny... Oh, tiny oh, <laughs> Definitely the more intense these games get, the more it feels good to talk about the game itself and not just our random, you know, nonsense commentary. God, I didn't even see that key at the top of the screen until 
like knowing that it drops now. Oh, I, shit. I, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, that was like a perfect fail, and then it your key is gonna drop. Is it gonna drop off if you? Oh no, that that block is oh. always locked in. So what I want to do here is get a little bit of room for me to run the second time around. Yeah. That way I can do this. Because <laughs> uh, so I had the right idea. Go on. In mind. Go on. You were saying. Look. My keys drop sometimes. Oh no! <laughs> it bounced! <laughs> okay, one more try. Nope. You're, you're alright, you can do it. I'm gonna just, just wait, because it's bouncing. Yeah, give it a second. And jump. And jump. Oh! Alright. Oh, Next time on Instant Replay Live, what did we even talk about this episode? <laughs> we were talking about YouTube and the nature yeah. of harvesting humans. So I know a lot of our commenters are actual YouTubers as well, so let us know what you think about the kind of the state of YouTube. I think it'd be a good conversation to have with uh, with you guys in particular, you know, our, our friends on YouTube oh. now. Um, and and <laughs> I'm actually curious for anyone who's willing to say it, because you don't have to, obviously. <laughs> but is your goal with YouTube to make money? Is it to make friends? Is it to just make content? Do you share it with your friends and family in real life? Because I know I've heard a couple people say they don't do that already. And, uh, and so what, what's your plan? So uh, share it with us. Let's have a conversation. Talk to you guys later. Wow, <laughs> 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 Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.